You knock on the door with the key to customer service. Beyond that door is another dimension. A dimension of courtesy. A dimension of respect. A dimension of consideration. You're moving into a land of both assistance and consequence. Of respectability and professionalism. You've just crossed over into the delivery zone. I know, Mr. Elroy. I promise to be in the office just as soon as my delivery arrives. And I can't imagine... I know, sir. I'm really sorry. They said they would be here almost an hour ago. I expect them any minute, and I'll get there as soon as I can. Okay. Oh, okay. Goodbye. What are you doing? I need smokes. Hurry up, man. We were supposed to be there an hour ago. Chill. I'll be two minutes. I just received a call from a Mr. Smith, 25 Berry Lane. Says his wife encountered two very late and disrespectful deliverymen. His wife lost her job today because she got to work late, waiting for her delivery to show up. Says his furniture is damaged along with their hallway. Says he'll never do business with J.C. Penney again. Well. Well, what have the two of you got to say yourselves? She lost her job? We never meant for her to lose her job. Oh, well, just what did you mean? Showing up an hour and a half late. Didn't you call her the night before and confirm a time? Well, I... Did you get directions or have an idea of the closest intersection to her house? Well, we... Did you call to tell her you were running late? Did you even apologize for being late? Tuck your shirt tails in and look presentable. Or wipe the dirt off your shoes, or the smirks off your faces, hmm? You know, I have really had it with you two. You don't even live up to the very delivery uniforms you wear. And you know what? You're fired. Please don't. We have bills to pay. And I so do Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Joe, you should have thought of that sooner. You guys have got to learn there are no second chances to make a good first impression. There are no second chances to make a good first impression. There are no second chances to make a good first impression. Hey, buddy. You up? Okay, I'll uh, see you in 30 minutes. Try not to be late. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Elroy. Yes, my delivery's expected any time now. They called last night to confirm the time frame and get the directions. Okay, well, I'll be in when they're done. Okay, bye. Where are we going next, buddy? Uh, 25 Berry Lane, Mrs. Kim J. Smith. Coffee table? Uh, yeah, coffee table. How'd you know? Uh, lucky guess. How are we doing on time? Right on time? Good. We've been here before. Not me, buddy. Hope this isn't an old girlfriend's house. <laughs> there is a right and wrong way to do anything. However, here in the delivery zone, there is only the right way. This time, before they enter, they make themselves more presentable as they approach the door. Shirts are tucked in. Hair is combed. Hands are clean. Good morning. We've got a J.C. Penney delivery for Mrs. Kim Smith. Terrific. You're right on time. Come in, please. It is important to remember the delivery zone is not ours to own. 
To the contrary, we are but mere guests. Our time, limited. Respect and professionalism, a requirement. Joe and Mario have courteously identified themselves as delivery men for J.C. Penney and taken care to wipe their feet before entering the home. A good first impression sets the tone for things to come. Is this where the coffee table's gonna go? Yes, right here next to the sofa. Perfect. Let's get a blanket for the floor. Hey, that's a great idea. Do I know you from somewhere? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Let's go. This is it. Great, let's go. You know what? This one needs to be assembled, so let's get it in and I'll come back and get the tools. All right, sounds good. Another successful delivery unfolds as Mario and Joe remember to treat the customer and her home with the utmost respect. Their attention and courtesy will leave the customer with good feelings about her purchase and the highest regard for J.C. Penney and its team of professionals. Thanks so much. Well, thank you. Is this the first time you ordered furniture from J.C. Penney? Yes, it is, and I think I'll order from you guys again. Great. You ready? I gotta get out of here. Hey, what's eating you? <sighs> Joe P. Fidesco and trusty cohort Mario Santiago have earned their status as welcome guests in the delivery zone. Upon their return to the office, Joe and Mario will continue their professionalism with the proper completion of all the appropriate paperwork. As a job well done is a completed job well done. And so this lesson ends for Joe and Mario, whilst it soon begins for all who enter the JCPenney delivery sector. Punctuality, courtesy, cleanliness, and most importantly, consideration for the customer and her home should never be ignored. Embrace the lesson. Embrace the lesson well. And for all your good, may you remain forever loyal to and respectful of the delivery zone. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Okay, let's see what we've got here. She's ready, Doctor. All right. Lay out all her parts and see if she's missing anything. Nurse, nurse, keep her seat covered at all times. Sorry, Doctor. Legs. Legs. Bolts. Bolts. Power wrench. Wrench. All right. Let's hand tighten these screws and see if the legs are level. Nice. Tighten her up and wipe her down. Good job, people. Chair assembly. It's not brain surgery. <laughs> <laughs>